just saw a grasshopper um, jump from there over, flying over to there, and then jump into the road by flying, and then jumped back into the grass over there. Must have been a pretty big one. It was big, big. Yeah. It's awesome. Like a, that, 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 that big. Okay. Hi, Kelly. You waking up from your... You want to sleep? There are also a lot of mud butterflies and bees here. And whatever just crashed into that. <laughs> Alright, well let's keep keep an eye out for more wildlife. to the cemetery and it's being mowed oh it's like there goes all our audio probably have to do voiceovers i'm so disgusted oh my god go away <laughs> we're at the old union cumberland presbyterian church in the valley cumberland plateau over there cumberland plateau over there we are on the west side and here we have a hundred prism. And here comes the one. A hundred prism grave covers. Beautiful stuff dating from 1860 to 1900. We gotta do these in short clips because of the John Deere tractor behind us mowing the lawn. Old Union, Cumberland Presbyterian Church, one of the most conservative churches in America, unusual for this rural setting. Cumberland Plateau, up there, behind us there, or in front of me there, all the way up there, we are on the west side. Very important. Nothing is on the east side. Stop. Cumberland, west side, 100 graves, a hundred stone grave covers, prism shape. Two sides on the side tilted towards each other. Inside, triangular pieces. We don't know why. Theory is that these are grave covers. As you can see in there, there's no burial that's exposed. It's all dirt, so it's protecting the heap dirt underneath. More on why in about two videos.
y'all doing? She's showing me her tiger game. Oh yeah? Let me get over here. I'm trying to get some Let me shit. look over. My... <laughs> when it's actually my game, but... <laughs> Is that actually my game? <laughs> East Southeast. We are here at the Swafford Chapel off the beaten road of the Sequatchie Valley. Sequatchie Valley goes from the mouth all the way down there, or, or should we say it starts up here. That's the Cumberland Plateau behind us. Cumberland, Signal Mountain, and they meet right up there. And this is the northern part of the only rift valley, natural rift valley in the United States. I think there are only two in the world. And this is Swafford Chapel Cemetery in which we have stone grave houses. Here's one, native church, arranged that way. We saw uh, two, no, three grave houses down at the mouth of, uh, or towards the mouth of the Sequatchie, down by South Pittsburgh and the old Dove place. And here there are six, and these are the most beautiful, a beautiful day, the most numerous. I've never seen another cemetery with six stone grave houses. It's the mother cemetery. These stone grave houses are great examples of Mason mastery. Look at how these pieces of chert were chiseled out, hammered out, broken up so that they fit together along these long eight foot, nine foot sides, and then pieces broken up to fit on top. And then over there, these pieces longer than broken up here. This is the same kind of construction that we saw down at Sarah's Chapel, except in triangular form. So I really think that these, the prism graves, especially the triangular shape church graves down in uh, Sarah's Chapel in Dade County and these ones here in Sequatchie Valley are related. They all use native stone in long blocks. They are both chert and they're fitted together to be a grave house, a grave shelter for the burial underneath. And there's no reason to think that this is uh, stone underneath. It has lots of good grass and no exposed stone. There's one other feature I want to show you. Behind me are field stones. Smaller stones made from found stone, stuff they would find near a quarry or out in the field, but broken pieces that probably are at least two, three feet long and that they can stick into the ground and mark a grave. You'll notice that most of these are small. Sometimes field stones are large. These ones are small, which makes me think, especially this one over here, that's that's been reset into cement. Makes me think, and with the number of uh, children's deaths in the 19th century, especially out in the country, that this could very well be the children's plot area. Usually for children's plot markers, we see little lambs, and I've seen one or two here, but otherwise there are very few markers for what should be substantial number of children's deaths. So I'm thinking, this and then the people with money and the adults with money who survived the patriarch and matriarch get the big stone grave houses one of the more unusual things to see out here anywhere in this area is a head and shoulders tomb this isn't your classic head and shoulders not a tomb oh excuse me it's a grave marker but here's the head, and here are the shoulders, and then there's a second set of shoulders. We're not going to see any more of these around. I think we saw one in Dade County, but around here in Tennessee, head and shoulders are not big. But where we're going to go next week, there are lots and lots of head and shoulders discoid markers. 
stay tuned. <laughs>